A fashion brand that began at a Sydney market before going on to become one of the world's biggest brands has just sold for more than $1 billion. In fact, it's almost closer to $2 billion. Zimmerman, which sells dresses and other high fashion pieces, has been bought by US equity firm Advent International. And its fans include the Princess of Wales, Beyonce, Kendall Jenner, me too. Joining me live is the Australian Financial Review fashion journalist, Lauren Sams. Great to see you, Lauren. Thanks so much for your time. Um, so, look, Zimmerman has been around for quite some time. It has survived the up and downs, the brutality of the fashion industry. What does this uh, latest purchase by this US company mean for it? Well, it means that it will expand likely into China and the Middle East more. Uh, it currently has two stores in China um, and it will likely, uh, I, I would say, aggressively expand into that market uh, and the Middle East, which uh, is a growing market for the brand. It could also mean that they go into different categories. So Advent International has uh, interests in fragrance and beauty, uh, and it wouldn't be out of the ballpark to suggest that Zimmerman could move into those categories as well. So this company has bought how much of Zimmerman? Because I note that an Italian company, I think, about a decade ago, bought 70% of the company. So has this US company bought that 70%? Yeah, that's right, Laura. Yeah. So what has happened is that uh, Style Capital, which was, as you say, an Italian investment firm, had 70% of the company, or that's what we think anyway. Uh, numbers were never disclosed and the, the stake was never uh, publicly listed. Um, and Advent has now taken that stake. We believe it to be about 70%. And Nikki and Simone Zimmerman, who are the sisters who founded the label, retain the other 30%. Wow. So... What does this mean that Zimmerman is actually worth? It's about $1.7 isn't it? Yeah, we believe. Uh, <laughs> Australian dollars? Are we talking Australian dollars here? Uh, we're talking Australian dollars, yeah. So we believe that, um, yeah, it, it has been valued at about $1.75 billion, which is a record for an Australian fashion business. So, um, and it's, there's been a few transactions this year uh, for Australian businesses uh, in the sort of luxury consumer goods sector. Uh, ASOP sold to L'Oreal, for instance, in March. Mm -hmm. um, and even just last week, Bondi Sands, which is a tanning company, sold to a Japanese conglomerate called KO Brands. Uh, and, and that was quite big news as well. So there is an appetite for Australian brands here. It's got to be one of our biggest success stories in fashion, but business alone. Yeah, absolutely. It, it is one of our biggest uh, fashion success stories and it is something to really be celebrated. As you noted at the top of the story, you know, this is a brand that had very humble beginnings, really. Nikki uh, was creating swimwear um, and other pieces of clothing at the Paddington Markets. It was very much a sort of grassroots uh, family story. She mm -hmm. borrowed a sewing machine. She was making them in her parents' garage. <laughs> And, you know, that was the early 90s. And now fast forward to now, this is a brand that shows at Paris Fashion Week. It has mm. stores all around the world. It has a very savvy retail network uh, where, you know, it's sold in resort capitals, you know, Capri, um, Mykonos. If you're anywhere in Europe, <laughs> um, you know, having a beautiful summer vacation, you will be seeing Zimmerman and maybe wearing it too. Yeah, it actually, the prices have gone up so much. It's in that ultra luxury uh, category now, I think, and definitely sold in uh, like places like Capri. Capri and Mykonos. Um, you mentioned that Nikki started at Paddington Markets. Did you say swimwear? So did she start purely with swimwear or was it a variety of things? She started with dresses, actually, and then, funnily enough, in um, 1996, when Australian Fashion Week started, uh, Nikki had the idea to do swimwear because no one else at Fashion Week was going to show swimwear. And, of course, you know, it just took off. And for about 10 or so years, that's what the brand was really known for, which is kind of funny to think back now <laughs> uh, because it's really known for its resort wear, for its occasion dressing. You know, I've lost count of the times that I've been to a wedding and 
all of the women are wearing Zimmerman. You know, <laughs> it's just one of those things. So, but for a long time, it was really known for its swimwear. And in fact, the first International Fashion Week that it showed at was Miami Swim Week, uh, which is a really, really big deal uh, in the swimwear category and sells lots of swimwear. Yeah, it has certainly come a long way since then. Lauren, uh, great to talk about this absolute success story with you this morning. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Laura.